The Christmas Carols by Susan Gordon, Short Stories for Kids. Today we have a book named The Christmas Carols by Susan Gordon, a Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. There was much excitement in the garden. In just a few days, the garden birds would start their choir practice and decide on the Christmas carols. You really knew that Christmas was approaching when plans for the choir were happening. The music teacher and the conductor were busy at choir practice, and there was a cue for extra tuition. The soloist, the lovely Chloe Robin, had suddenly lost her voice. Her songs were just whispers and so hard to hear. As you can imagine, the garden birds were very concerned. Without the soloist, they couldn't have the concert and all the signs of chaos were starting to appear. The lovely Chloe had been trying home remedies and neighbor's report, and she had been gargling and rubbing bird vicks on her chest. Nothing seemed to be working, and the Lady Robin was so upset. Her audience, birds from the nearby gardens, were so unhappy realizing that their Christmas tree could be ruined. What could they do? Doctors, specialists, and even natural healers were called for their opinion. All they could put the lovely Robin's throat problems was stress. This is a serious diagnosis for Robins and takes weeks or even months to overcome. This would be too late for the carols. The only solution seemed to be to bring on the understudy. Little Polly Robin had always hoped and prayed for a chance to show her singing talent. Always the first to appear at dawn chorus, worked hard at perfecting her song. All the time Polly hoped and prayed that her chance to sing solo would happen. Now the chance was here at last. Bursting with pride, little Polly was so keen to show what she could do. Then her moment approached. The choirmaster and the conductor invited Polly to sing. When they heard her voice, they couldn't believe their ears. The notes were wonderful. They agreed on the spot that Polly should have the solo spot and lead the carol. Chloe Robin was still finding it hard to sing. The doctors ordered nest rest and to avoid any excitement. They were afraid to tell her that the understudy would sing the solo, but they needn't have worry. Chloe was pleased that the carols wouldn't be spoiled. She listened to Polly's solo at rehearsals. Her voice was enchanting and Chloe beamed with happiness. Maybe next Christmas they could sing a duet. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.